Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you for this day. We thank you for this opportunity to come out here uh, together and just watch this game of basketball, Lord. Uh, Lord, I thank you for the players. I thank you for the joy that you uh, bring them through this game. But Lord, I pray that you are glorified through all that we do. Uh, All right, welcome to tonight's showing of Saints basketball. If you are just joining us today, we are getting ready for this tip-off. We have a little bit of a new lineup here for the Saints. Saints are starting off with number 12, Claire Van Tomey, who is going to go for the jump. Number 23, Lexi Wisenhan. Number 4, Savannah Luna. Number 21, Rachel Darling. And number 24, Harmony Tart. Excited to see this one get off to the start. They're going to be... Saints are going to be playing Ecclesia College as they come in to this game after Lexi Wisenhan's big game last week, uh, reaching 1,000 points, coming off a nice win for them. Looking to keep that streak going and keep this great women's Saints basketball up. And the tip goes to the Saints in control. Savannah Luna, number four. She will hand it, get it to Lexi Wisenhan, but the pass is... Knocked out of bounds by Ecclesia. Lexi Wisenhan is a little hurt right now. Looks like she got her finger smashed in the ball. She's holding it. And so we're going to go ahead and get a sub real quick. Might have broke her finger by the way it's sounding. 
Might have been dislocated. Yep, they're gonna go ahead and pop it back in. Back. For those of you that missed it, uh, big three right there for number five, Tinley. Um, Lots of time has gone by, not much action. As the score is 10 7, Saints on top. Rachel Darling's made a big impact here uh, in this first quarter, as well as Van Tomey. Uh, a couple buckets for her, a couple buckets for Darling. With that, Atira Davis throws it away, and we're going to go the other way with Ecclesia. Dickerson over to number five, Himmelberg. That's a big steal by Luna. Luna's going to take it all the way up for the easy layup. Nice bucket by Luna. XC is going to come the other way. This is Burleson. Burleson's going to lead this offense over to Himmelberg. Himmelberg over to number 10, McKinney. McKinney looking. She saw, uh, she saw Burleson down low with the open pass. She put a little bit too much on it. You want to kind of float that up. You don't want to throw bullet passes into the post, especially when they're a little bit shorter down there. All right, Luna is going to bring it back up the other way. Control this offense, bring Davis through. Gets caught in the trap. Good cut. <coughs> Great okay. cut by Van Tomey. Going to put a nice lay up in. All right, we're going the other way with it. That's over to 21, Burleson. Burleson going to make her move. Hamilton Dickerson. Dickerson back over to Burl or Burleson. All right, and XC is just passing it around. Using that whole shot clock here. Going to throw it up. 221. Burleson gets it. Nice drive back into the bucket for another two. That, that Davis is coming back the other way. Going to have a man on her the whole way on her hip, able to control this offense very well to Luna. Luna scanning the floor. Going to dribble over to the corner. Not use her screen. Going to throw up a kind of a little circus shot. Led to an air ball. And Ecclesi is going to capitalize that going all the way over. That was number 20. Three Dickerson. Dickerson, hard drive to the paint, gets fouled, going to be able to shoot two, and that foul was brought to you by number 21, Rachel Darling. For those of you that missed it, um, again, sorry that the stream went out. <laughs> we are back, though. Uh, I believe we are all fixed up, ready to go for the rest of the night. Uh, into the men's game as well. A lot of stuff happened early on in this first quarter. Uh, Lexi was in hand, hand injury. Um, then a couple turnovers. Then we had some big plays. Again, by Claire Van Tomey and Rachel Darling. Nice buckets on both ends. Had a steal by Luna. They're able to get in, make a nice layup. But Ecclesi is not backing down by any means. 14-9, 39 seconds left on this first quarter. And that's Dickerson missing her second f free throw. Picked back up by Miles. Miles missing as well. Ooh, Tart got the rebound. Kind of threw it away. And we're going to go Saints ball. Tart needs to throw it in. She gets it in to Davis. Davis going to dribble up again. Just a man on her hip the whole way. But able to get past it, handle that ball so well. Saints are going to start in a horn set. Davis is going to deny both screens. Take it all the way up for the foul. Her chance now to put two on the board with free throws. Davis a little shooken up from that one. Uh, <laughs> Going to compose herself here before she shoots her free throws. Ref making sure she's all good. Here we go, first shot. Rims in and out. Let's 
Second shot up and good for Davis. I can see it with the sub. Number 34, Bailey coming in. Makes a nice pass on the cutting. Hannah. That was number 23, Burleson with the shot. A little strong on the side. Hannah was able to attempt to get that rebound, and we are going to stay this way. I can see a ball. Starting underneath, the Saints are... Looks like going to man up here. That is into Miles. Miles with a nice jump shot from down low. A little strong. Going to go the other way with Tart. Tart's got to shoot it up. Puts it up. And no good. A little strong on that shot. And that does it for the first quarter. First, uh, final score of the first quarter is 15-9. to nine. Saints on top. And we will see you in a minute. All right, and we are back with some second quarter action. Your Saints are on top 15-9 against the Ecclesia Royals. It will be Savannah Luna inbounding the ball for the Saints. Number three, Hannah not going to not make it easy for her jumping around like jumping jacks in elementary school PE. Atira Davis being guarded by number 23, Dickerson. I'm going to be honest, if I was the ref, I would have called every single one of those a carry, but we're going to let it play. Savannah Luna has the ball for the Saints. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. Luna's going to drive. Pull up is just off. Rebound finds Van Tomey, and her shot gets blocked. She wanted a foul. I think if I was Luna there, I would have kicked it out to the corner to a tier. She was wide open on that cut. And the pass by Madison Bailey to the paint strong. She was looking for Renicia Miles, but just out of the hands of her. With that, number 21, Burleson, is going to go ahead and come in for number 23, Dickerson. And we're going to go Saints ball. Tira Davis has it for the Saints. She's been guarded. Great screen by Rachel Darling, but Davis dribbling right into the hands of Bailey, and a jump ball will be called, and it will be the Royals ball. Bailey has the ball, giving it to number 11, Torres. Now it's back into the hands of Bailey. Finds the cutting, Torres. No good. Rebounded by Van Tomey. Tried to get it to Rachel Darling, but too wide. That was the right look for Van Tomey. Looking up court, sees a guy in the middle cutting. Big block by Van Tomey. Saints Luna finds the cutting, Van Tomey, and... She's going to get called for a travel. I believe she drug her foot there because uh, you are allowed two steps once you catch the ball. You can finish your cut. So I'm just going to assume that she drug her foot behind her, and that's what the travel call was for. Madison Bailey with the ball for the Royals. Now with it is Burleson. Finds Taylor Hanna, who's going to swing it across to Torres. Back to Bailey, orchestrating some offense, finds the, tries to find the cutting tour, is picked off by Harmony Tart. For those of you that 
well, I guess all of you that got cut out earlier. Bailey's been a great impact for Ecclesia. She has been able to run this offense very well. Maybe a couple turnovers, um, but. And a great offensive play for the Saints. Luna cutting, then finding Claire Van Tomey in the paint. And her, the shot was just too easy for her. Luna needs to watch that arm when she goes across like that. Might get called for a foul. Ecclesia moving the ball around, trying to find open. And Alita Torres will get called for the travel. Quick substitution for the Saints. Satira Davis coming out. Macaria Hines coming in. Another substitution as well for Ecclesia. Number five, Tenley Hamilton coming in for Madison Bailey. <laughs> Alita Torres thought that she was coming out. I think there was uh, another substitution because Miles is also sitting on the bench. So once I find the odd number out, we will <laughs> we will see who came in for her. I believe it is number 14, Faustina Duffy, who came in for her. As Makaria Hines is just going to drive to the lane. No good. Rebounded by Duffy. And Duffy is off to the races. As my upward basketball coach told me multiple times growing up, named Brad Dush, he said, just kiss the glass. That's <laughs> what you want to do on a layup. Just kiss the glass. <laughs> and Saints have not been doing that too well. They like to just shoot it up and put it in the rim. Now, I know as a post player, that's very easy. You want to just throw it up, but... And quick bit of action there uh, on the Saints on the Saints side. There was a turnover by Macaria Hines. And down on the other end, Rachel Darling picking up already her third foul of this contest. I assume that foul was going to be called on Claire Van Tomey. Um, that's kind of a toss-up. Because yeah. you, want, you want Van Tomey as your post player to keep out of foul trouble. But with Darling having three already, you almost want to split those fouls up. At the line for Ecclesi is number 21, Jalen Burleson. She buried her first. And the second, like the first, is good. And a substitution for the Saints. Macy Wisnan coming in for Rachel Darling. And Saints Luna will be inbounding the ball. Kari Hines bringing up the ball for the Saints. Makes a nice move and... Tries to find the cutting Wizenan, but a kick ball call. Number three, Taylor Taylor Hanna was just begging Makari Hines to use her left hand, was fully parallel with the sideline, begging Makari Hines to go left, and she did, got through. Saints Luna on the inbound. Still 22 seconds left on the shot clock. Saints lead 17-11. Got it into Van Tomey, but... The pass was just deflected as soon as it touched her hands. Now it's Ecclesia ball. Torres with it, swinging it to Burleson. Now with Taylor Hanna for three, Boom. and it is good. That was deep. Couple steps out there. All cash, though, hit the bottom of the net. Now Macaria Hines for the Saints is going to find Savannah Luna. Thought about the shot. No good. Or no, didn't shoot it. Sorry, excuse me. And uh, ball was lost and went out of bounds. It'll be Ecclesia with possession. Still no sign of Lexi Wisenan. Went out on just the first, second. first few seconds of the game. Um, she was in pain, though, so hoping she is... All in all, okay. I uh, believe she is. I saw the trainer just now working on Quincy's ankle. Uh, I believe going to tape it up. So, I guess that Lexi's not in too much pain as they are now giving attention to other players. Taylor Hanna passing to Torres, who's going to take a deep three with 10 seconds on the clock. Shot clock, no good. Uh, I don't know. I think a little miscommunication there by the Saints. Luna tipped it out away from everyone else. And... Uh, Wisenham had a chance to go get it. I believe she just thought it was knocked away as the shot and was just boxing out the sky. <laughs> uh, substitution for the Saints. Vanna Luna coming out. Davis back in. Taylor Hanna with it, giving it down to Duffy. And Duffy with a hand in her face. That was a good pump fake by Duffy. Got Van Tomey to pull up uh, just a little bit, get off balance, and then take that second shot. Hines with the ball for the Saints. Hines coming off a great game last time, locking up 
Who did they play last time? Whoever it was, their best defender. And just like that, Makaria Hines hits the shot. It'll push the Saints lead up 2-3. Oh. Duffy with it down in the paint. He's going to circle around. Van Tomey tried to, as you said, so graciously kiss it off the glass, but went in too hard for the smooch. French <laughs> kiss. <laughs> Unwanted. Quick substitution for the Saints. Macy Crutchfield coming in for Harmony Tart. It'll be Saints ball. Tira Davis inbounding it to Hines. And Makaria Hines is going to drive to, thought about the shot, kicks out to Wiz Macy Wizenham for three. No good. And it'll be out of bounds. It'll be Ecclesia ball. That was an interesting shot there uh, by Wizenham. Not a bad shot. She was completely open. I think that was the right shot to take. But the ball spun right rather than <laughs> forward. It was interesting. It just looked like a curveball coming off her hand. Number 21, Burleson coming in for Ecclesia. She comes in for number three, Taylor Hanna. Alita Torres with the ball for the for Ecclesia. And number 23 in the game hits a bank shot. That is Nadia Nadea Dickerson. Getting a nice pull up mid-range. And as she gets in our defensive stance on the next end. <laughs> she is ready. Ready for whatever comes her way. Van Tomey with the ball. Kicks it to Makari Hines. Thought about the three. Pulls it out. Macy Wisnan with it. Is going to try. Finds <laughs> Van Tomey. I was a little bit flabbergasted but Van Tommy just using her height there to knock that ball back towards herself and put up a shot I can see a little confused there with that offense Alita Torres with it is going to hand it off to Burleson that and Burleson is going to drive pull up shot is good that shot I feel like could have been avoided that would have been a great opportunity for Davis to jump out and trap off that ball or that ball handoff put it out make the defender go the other way, at least stunt. Now Van Tomey with it, making a move. And she's going to get called for another travel. A little too much, too fast. Got to remember, put the ball on the ground. What you're not told to do as a post player often. You're often told to keep the ball high, don't put it on the ground where everyone can reach it. But if you step out that far, you got to make a dribble move towards the rim. Substitution for the Saints, Savannah Luna back in for Macy Wisenand. As Ecclesia has control of the ball, Torres with it. Now Burleson with the ball. Hands it off to Torres. Torres is going to make a move, and she drives. Left-handed shot is good for Lita Torres. Torres just being a difference maker for this XC team right now as they are able to take the lead and put a little bit of wiggle room up after a couple big threes and that layup. From and Makaria Hines driving to the lane. Shot is up and no good. Rebound by Duffy. If you're Hines, you can't put your head on uh, hand on your knees after a shot like that. you got to be up ready to get that rebound. Burleson with the ball. Hands it off to Torres. And Torres is going to take a spot up three. Out, in and out. Rebounded by Van Tomey. Good heads up play by Van Tomey. As Makari Hines is going to drive and force up another shot again. This time rebounded by Burleson. Shot clock has not been reset. And so Eccles is just going to throw up a quick shot. Um, Atira Davis with the, with the ball now. Come on, Bill Thomas. What are we doing? Hey, he's doing stats. That's not him. <laughs> he's keeping the book. At least that's what he told oh, that's me. Oh, that's our new guy. Our new guy. <laughs> We're all good. We're all good. Savannah Luna, or Atira Davis with it now. Hands it off to Hines. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. She's going to kick it to Van Tomey. He's going to take a spot-up shot. No good. That was a moon shot up high. Saints so got to get their heads back in. It looks like everyone's kind of heads down. They've been in a little bit of a scoring drought. Macaria Hines is playing low. As Ecclesia's shot fires a three, no good rebound by Torres, and she just fires it right back up. I think that was a good timeout by Coach Z, trying to compose her team again. They might be a little tired. Uh, it's been a long time playing with no breaks, but she's going to call timeout, get her team back in this. And it is a 30-second timeout.
Let's go ahead and remove it. Yeah. Oh. We're going to remove the... The... The, the uh, mute button. The mute button. Coming, yeah. off, coming out of the 30-second timeout, it is going to be Saints ball, I believe. Yes. Savannah Luna looking to inbound it. The uh, Royals trying to wipe up something down on the other end. Luna to inbound. She'll get it to Tart. They showed press, but then immediately gets back. For the Saints in is Harmony Tart, Savannah Luna, Macy Wisnan, Macy Crutchfield, and Atira Davis as oh! Harmony Tart is going to get called for a travel. That was, that was an up-down. I wasn't sure if they were going to call her or not. It looked like they should have given it to her. Uh, but refs are all about that travel call. They like to boogie down, get the, <laughs> get the arm spins. Uh, Dickerson, number 23, with the ball for Ecclesia. Now Burleson will kit it to the cutting. But good job. Wisenhan getting her hands in there, trying to get that jump ball and able to get her team the ball. And Harmony Tart drives in the lane, pushes up a shot, no good. As, ooh! And there goes the other Wisenhan. That was a nice poke by Luna, uh, able to do, get that ball to stop, and then she ran right into, Macy was in hand, right into the, the old schnoz. But she's going to walk off on her own power. She's all right. Little Blade knows at worst here is what I'm thinking. And coming in for Macy was in hand is Makari Hines. Saints running a very small lineup. Um, with everyone that's on the lineup able to handle the ball in a full court press situation. A uh, foul is going to be called on number 23, Day Dickerson, for the uh, Royals. I'm not sure how this press works for the Royals. Um, depends on who gets the ball, depends on if they press. And it seems like the better the ball handler, the more likely they're going to press, which seems counterintuitive to what you normally do on a press. Typically, you want to get the ball into the weakest ball handler's hand so you can seal it. And Dickerson getting subbed out. Madison Bailey coming in for him. We talked about size earlier. We have not seen Rhea Brady, the only healthy saint that we have not seen on the court tonight. Uh, Harmony Tart has the ball. She hands it off to Luna. Luna hands it off back to Tart. Yep. And Tart is going to get called for another travel. I believe that is at least... Four travels called on the Saints, two by Van Tomey and two by Tart. Yep, that was the right call. She made a move quick with her feet, lost her pivot foot before she put the ball on the ground. Number 10, McKinney had the ball, giving it to Madison Bailey. She's getting hounded by Davis. Now McKinney hounded by Luna. Saints locking in on defense here. See if they can get another stop here in this Down. last four, 40 seconds. Down by five with 35 seconds left and... Ball is going to go out of bounds. It'll stay Ecclesia ball. Even even though it's Ecclesia's ball, that was a good tip by Tart, able to give her team a little bit of a break, get right back on to dogging on defense. And Ecclesia only has eight seconds on the shot clock. And the ball into Madison Bailey. T.R. Davis biting a little hard. Duffy with the shot, banks it off. No good. Rebound to Tira Davis. 28 Sh seconds left. Yep, shot clock is off. Davis with is going to slow it down. No need to force anything that you don't want or need. Want to get a good bucket going into this halftime. Let's see what she does. It's here Davis making moves. Hands off to Hines. Hines jabs. Hands off to Luna. Luna making a move. Drives. No. Loses the ball. Ball hand to Duffy. And ooh, makes a shot. That almost bounced off the court into the basket. But that is the end of the first half. Saints trail 19 to 24. That would have been a good shot if they made it. Saints struggling in this back half of the first half of the game, having a large scoring drought for the past few minutes. Now, they were able to come up with something at the very end, keep the Royals from scoring any more than what they did. And this is a very obtainable game for both teams right now. Saints just got to come out of this halftime open and ready to be dogs on defense. And we will catch you in the second half of action.
All right, as we are coming out of halftime with a minute left, going to go over a couple first half stats. Um, let's see. For the Saints, Claire Van Tomey is leading with eight points for the Saints, followed right behind Rachel Darling with four. For the visitors, Ecclesia, they are currently being led by Taurus. Uh, let's see. The Central Christian College of the Bible Saints led by eight. Uh, was their biggest lead, and right now Ecclesia is leading by five, and that is their biggest lead of the game. The Saints are currently losing the assist battle six to three. However, they um, are winning the. Uh, I saw it just a second ago. Oh, they are winning the D or the. Uh, What's that thing called? Rebounds. Oh. <laughs> Rebounds. I was just – I saw T-O-P – or T-O-T, and I'm like, I don't know what T-O-T is. Turnovers? No. Turnovers. Oh, total. Oh, total. Turtles. Yep. Total, total blank. Total yeah, rebounds. So you. they are losing that – or they are winning that. They are losing the turnover battle, though. They are losing that big at 13-8 to eight in the first half. So those are a couple of the first half stats for you. I did not prepare beforehand. I um, feel a little embarrassed. Ah, you don't know what happens. At the uh, start of the second half, the Saints only had four uh, girls on the floor as Claire Bantomi sprints out of the – still just coming out. She wasn't even on the sideline. Gets in, but it will be Ecclesia Ball. Royals with it. Burleson passing down to Duffy and quick up flip, flip over the head. Rebound by Macy Crutchfield. That's Duffy's second attempt of the night making that same shot. Did not quite get it the second time. Closer. Shot clock did not start. That's what the stoppage of play is for. They got it now. A little three second runoff as Savannah Luna will inbound the ball. Uh, Harmony Tart with it. Van Luna moving around with the ball. He's going to hand it off to Darling. He's going to hand it off to Van Tomey. Now Savannah Luna, 13 seconds left, is going to give it to Macy Crutchfield. Thought about, thought about the shot. was covered too much. Going to give it back to her. And another travel called on the Saints. That is where most of the turnovers from the Saints have been. While 13 does sound like a lot, and it is, it is mostly from travels, not so much steals. The Royals now with the ball. Madison Bailey bringing it up. Zips it to Burleson, who's going to take a second and then take a three. Great box out by Darling. But she didn't. Nobody stepped up to catch the rebound, so Duffy was there for an easy bucket. That is just unfortunate if you are Rachel Darling. She had an excellent box out just to have Duffy come in out of nowhere. And miscommunication by the Saints. Savannah Luna turning it over, and now... Duffy down on the other end with the nice finish. Smart choice by Darling. Just trying to contest but not force anything as she does have three fouls coming out of halftime. Savannah Luna with it now, and we see Rhea Brady will is looking to check in for the first time in this game as Luna gets the stub. Gets stolen by Torres, and Duffy down and playing. A little bit of give and go for uh, Ecclesia. That was some showtime play right there by Ecclesia. Pass, pass, open lay. I think that started with Luna, though. Luna missed or got the ball stolen, but rather than running down on defense, kind of just stood there. And a 30 second timeout for the Saints. All right, and we are back from that time out. We're going to start with the Saints ball. Atira Davis coming in for the Saints, as well as Makaria Hines, who's going to run point. 
And we see Ray Brady, number 44, in on the other end for them. And Macy Wisenand also in. Oh. Uh, glad to see that she is uh, doing well. Again, she left with a injury after getting collided with. Um, but she's back in the game. Still no Lexi Wisenand to be seen. Uh, Ecclesia thought again about pressing, pressuring, but back off as soon as it's inbound. And Macaria Hines with the ball for the Saints. It's going to get it to Davis. Davis getting it down to Darling. Darling's going to get it back to Davis. 15 seconds on the clock. Shot clock. Kari Hines thought about the three. Good screen from Davis. Going to give it down to Rhea Brady. Touching the ball as she comes in for the first time and yep. draws the foul. A little late, but it got there eventually. The foul is on number five, Tenley Hambleton. Um, yep. Lots of good choices there by the Saints in that possession. Lots of ball movement, able to get around, no ter bad shots. I think the only questionable shot was the final one, but it led to a foul. So, all in all good. Brady off on the first, continuing the Saints scoring drought. Um, it's been, I believe, what did you say, five? Seven and a half minutes now. It's been seven and a half minutes, and she misses her second, but rebound goes to Davis, and it's tied up, and it is a... Jump ball, so it'll go to, or it will say stay Saints ball. Saints lining up in a four low look. People across the basket, we're going to get a screen by Brady. Oh, nice play. Ball down into Darling, down back into Brady, who's just going to chuck it up. And Rachel Darling is going to get called for her fourth foul. Yeah, she's probably going to go ahead and go sit for Probably to the fourth quarter, I would think. As Macy, Macy Crutchfield comes in for Rachel Darling. It'll be Ecclesia Ball, Madison Bailey bringing it up. That's difficult to see if you are a Saints fan, your second leading scorer going out this early in the third quarter with four fouls. <laughs> Burleson. Was a little scared uh, or a little shocked that that play happened there. She just, huh, after she loses the ball. It will stay. Ecclesia ball with 17 seconds left on the shot clock as they lead by 11 with 7.46 left to go in this quarter. Gets into Torres. Torres left wide open. Probably could have taken the shot, but they probably want to take as much time on the clock as they can. Madison Bailey gives it to Torres, who does end up pulling the three. Rims out. Rebound. Was by uh, Duffy and then was uh, swatted out of bounds by Ray Brady. So, oh. again, it'll stay Saints ball. A quick inbound Get to out of here. Oh! Hambleton who gets fouled. That was unfortunate. Foul. She swatting down with her hand. I know they're going to call it, but and I thought it looked clean. <laughs> the foul was called on number 44 for the Saints, Ray Brady. Substitution for Ecclesia, number 23, Dickerson coming in for number 34, Bailey. Looks like another injury uh, on the court tonight. Number 21, Burleson. She not only has a leg brace on, but she has now taped up her leg brace hmm. on top of that. Not sure if that is her leg brace falling apart or if it was something that happened on her knee. But she is locked and loaded. And Hambleton goes one for two from the line. Ray Brady with the rebound. Looking to get it to somebody. Now, uh, Tier Davis with it. Gets the rebound from Brady. Had Brady, but didn't look. Macy Wisnan with it to Macaria Hines. And Hines gets the rebound from, or the rebound, the uh, screen from Brady. Throws it up, no good. Rhea Brady just swinging her arm in there to try to break the ball loose. That open shot was set up completely by Brady on the other end, telling her to keep going through so she could set that screen. And number 21, Burleson, with a nice move to get to the lane, or get to the shot. Uh, no good, though. Rebounded by the Saints. I think the Saints need to go ahead and start speeding up their offense. They have been in such a scoring drought lately. Do uh, something besides setting up a play. A little bit of a miscue pass still finds the hands of Macy Wisnand and Atira Davis shoots the three, no good. Torres needs to tie her shoe. She's going to just go ahead and run on down. Burleson with it. Uh, 
Ecclesia coach is going to call the timeout. So Torres can call, can tie her shoe. It'll be a 30-second timeout. All right, and we come out of the Ecclesia 30-second timeout as number five, Hamilton, inbounds it to Torres. Again, that timeout was strictly for Torres to tie her shoe there. Coach looking out for her player, so good on her as Torres gets it. He's going to drive and kick it into Hamilton, back to Burleson. Burleson's going to drive into coverage. Yep, that was... Who are they calling that on? Number 11. Macy Crutchfield gets called for the foul there as Nate uh, Jalen Burles, Burleson will go to the line to shoot some free throws. Yeah, I almost said Nate Burleson. That's – I don't know even who no, that is. Nate's in England. Don't be silly. Nate Bur No, not that Nate. Ah, um, substitutions for the Saints. Macy Crutchfield coming out. Van Tomey coming in. All right, and with that, we're going to go ahead and see the first shot from Burleson. Left it short. Oh. Nate Burleson is a football commentator, and he was also on the Detroit Lions. So that's who I was thinking of. Trash. Trash. <laughs> we are the only commentators. <laughs> also, anything from Detroit, Michigan. No, stop. Chuck could hear you. <laughs> All right, let's go, Chuck. I share a wall with him. <laughs> uh, Burleson goes, I believe, one for two from the line. I'm uh, RA. I'll just tell him to go back to his room. Head substitution for Ecclesia. Um, got a shoe change. Number five, Tenley Hamilton just kicked off her shoes and put, putting some new ones on. <laughs> but Saints inbound the ball. Macy Wizenand with it, getting trapped. Just got to get it to somebody, and they got to get it across. Oh, good pump fake. Bye. Hines, great great <laughs> way to get her defender jumping. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse <laughs> As me. Harmony Tart misses the shot, rebounded by Brady, <laughs> thrown up, rebounded again, and Claire Van Tomy off the glass to break the drought for the Saints. Sorry if you heard me cough over the air, but good job, Van Tomy, breaking that drought. That was over 10 minutes of playtime. Now Torres with it for Ecclesia finds Burleson who's going to take the shot. No good. Finds the hands of Tart. Tart slowing it down. Saints need to get some offense going. Trailing by 11. Maybe that lid is off. They can finally get something going. They're in a horn set. They're not going to use it though. Wizenand trying to get it down to Brady. And a little bit of uh, some... Mix-ups going on there and finds the hands of Ecclesia. Well, that's just two tough passes by Wizenhand. She's got to throw that up high, lob it into the post. And Torres is shot off, rebounded by Duffy, who's going to dribble and into another shot. No good. Saints ball. And it will be, yep, be Saints ball. Ray Brady smacked that off the hands of Duffy, and the ball went out of bounds. And he's going to go ahead and pass it in to Hines. Savannah Luna coming in for Macy Wizenan. The Royals going back and forth on if they want to keep this press or they don't want to play the press. Soft, strong. They're just throwing everything at the Saints here. <laughs> Macari Hines with it, guarded by Burleson. Finds Van Tomey. Van Tomey needs to go to work. Macari Hines pump fakes. Going to get it to Van Tomey. He's going to put it up strong. And and one. Claire Van Tomey to the line. That was a great pump fake by Hines, which she does so well getting her defender in the air. Able to dribble in. Nice shuttle pass over to Van Tomey. The foul was on number one for the Royals. Bernicia, Bernicia Miles. 
as a substitution for the Royals. Number five, Tenley Hamilton coming in for uh, Torres. And Van Tomey <laughs> knocks the free throw. Kind of stuck to the back and just flopped in. One, two, three, three-point play. And another substitution for the Royals. Number 10, McKinney coming in for Duffy. As it is, Ecclesia Ball. Burleson in, finds McKinney. McKinney not having much playing time tonight, so interested to see what she can do for the Royals. Dickerson with it, double teamed. Finds McKinney who pops the three, and it is good. <laughs> she can obviously do a lot. <laughs> Stepped into that three like it was nothing. Lays it right in. Harmony Tart getting it to Van Tomey and, or excuse me, and then Van Tomey to Hines. Now Luna with the ball. So you need to watch the spacing to both their post players up tall. As Harmony Tart kicks it to, or uh, missed shot, but great by Rhea Brady to punch the ball loose. And Rhea is calming them down like, hey, we got a new shot clock. We can take our time here. As Van Tomey gets it to Brady, who's going to get fouled. This is a great duo right now between Van Tomey and Brady. They are both playing great spacing between them, knowing where each other is at, able to get the ball down to each other. That foul was on number 10, Drew McKinley, for Ecclesia, and on the inbound uh, gets a little tangled up, and that foul is going to be on number 23, Dickerson. That was her third, and with that, the Saints are one foul away from being able to go into the bonus. As Dickerson gets subbed out, number three, Taylor Hanna, comes in. Um, this time, an offensive foul called on Rhea Brady, her second. New little interesting fact for you all, uh, for those of you that don't keep up with high school basketball, the high school basketball is going into the college girls rules. They're going to start going five fouls per quarter and no more one-on-ones for the men's. And McKinney there shooting a three, but it was tipped by Makaria Hines. McKinney just absolutely flabbergasted that she did not get a foul call there as Hines kind of ran through her. But we're going to say... A tip ball benefits the Saints. Saints are going to line up in a 2-3 defense. Yep, that's going to be a push off on number one, Bernicia Miles for uh, Ecclesia. As the Saints have it, Luna in control of the ball. <laughs> Burleson trying to get a trap going. Calling to her teammates, trying to bring them back up. What a pass. Quick passes for the Saints. And ball's going to go out of bounds. I'm going to say that was a little bit of a makeup call because I believe Van Tomey was fouled there. However, with the run through three that was not called as a foul, they're just going to go ahead and let this one go too. A little makeup call. Luna trying to inbound it. She will try and get it to Hines. It's just picked off by Burleson. And she's going to just go down all by herself and miss Little Strong. That worked out for the best for the Saints because Luna just telegraphed that whole play over there and then left it short. And another, this time is going to be called a kickball. Uh, Luna trying to get it to Hines, but it's a kickball. I think the Saints are getting a little excited. They scored a couple points. They need to go back to what was working, kind of slow it down. Look at both your post players, see as they get in that high-low. Van Tomey kicks it to Hines in the corner, who's going to make a move, and gets the ball poked out from behind. Burleson with it. Again, not the drives. The Saints do not need the drives right now. They need to continue to pass that ball around, work the defense, break them down to where they finally get an open shot. And that foul is going to be on Van Tomey, her first of the night, as the Royals go into the bonus. Burleson knocks down her first. Rebound. 
And Burleson going two for two from the line to push their lead up to 13. Savannah Luna with the ball for the Saints. And Harmony Tart is going to drive, draws the foul. A good call. Harmony Tart made a nice Euro step to step through the defender, and she fell. Get the block, puts her on the line. Could have also been almost a flopping call. Or a warning, I guess. Either one. Harmony Tart is going to go to the line to shoot two free throws. Knocks down the first. They're not going to let Madison Bailey in for some reason after that first free throw. So if this ball misses, we're going to be live and Bailey's going to be sitting on the sideline. And Harmony Tart goes two for two from the line as, uh, like you mentioned, Madison Bailey is going to come in. Uh, she's coming in for number five, Tenley Hamilton. Also, number three, Taylor Hanna back in the game for the uh, Royals. She skips it to Burleson. Burleson to Bailey, the point guard zips it. Great passing by the Royals, leads to a three-point shot. No good, finds the hands of Rhea Brady. Good job, Brady. She, the Saints would have got that ball either way, but she's going to keep this pressure alive, push it down the other end for the Saints. Luna making great moves, is going to dish it down to Brady. A great touch pass by Luna. Um, Brady's shot is missed and it'll go out of bounds. It'll stay Saints ball. Luna's going to inbound it. Got to find someone. And gets it to Harmony Tart as it tips off the fingertips of Bailey. Macaria Hines with it. 15 seconds left on the shot clock. Is going to get it to Van Tomey who... It's going to get it across. Savannah Luna's going to take the three. It is. No good. Yep. And that's the right call. That's going to be an over the back call on Van Tomey. He called that on number 34, <laughs> Madison Bailey. Oh, my. For, I think for the Royals. Okay, um, the ref made the over the back symbol, which. For those of you that don't know, over the back is not an actual call in basketball. It is a push. However, he made the motion of over the back, but they're going to go ahead and give it to the Saints, which, hey, don't get me wrong. <laughs> I'm here for it. Uh, Claire Van Domey misses her first. See if she can knock down her second here. And she Boom. does. With that, we are at a 10-point game for the Saints. Saints making a nice little run to come back after the 10-point drought. Our 10-minute drought of no points. And Atira Davis coming in for the Saints, subbing in for Harmony Tart as Burleson is quickly bringing the ball up for the Royals. Now Madison Bailey, again, great passing by the Royals, leads to a Duffy shot. No good, rebound to Hines. Hines going to slow it down, set something up for the Saints. Hands off to Luna. Good switch by the Royals. Luna's going to drive, get it to Brady, who has a wide open layup. Good for the Saints. That was a great move by Luna. Nice reverse in direction off the crossover, and then nice float pass. Royals uh, having some great ball movement here, but just can't find the net, can't find the basket, I guess. 15 seconds left on the shot clock for the Royals. It's the time of this third quarter expired or comes down to an end. And Madison Bailey gets it to McKinney with a highly contested three-pointer. That's another three for McKinney. That is what I've seen her do this second half. Actually came in off the bench. And Savannah Luna trying to get it into Van Tomey is picked off. And Van Tomey doing a great job about intercepting it on the other end. But Atira Davis dribbles right into two Royals. But Give me that. Van Tomey strips it right back. That you do not often see a post player play like that. But Van Tomey, full of energy, able to sprint down, beat everyone down the court, rip the ball, and then rip it again like she was stripping a running back. And 12 seconds left on the shot clock. St. Savannah Luna with it, getting it to Van Tomey. He's going to put it up. No good. Rebound by Burleson. Has enough time to get it. A shot maybe at the half court. One second left. Pulls up. No good. Right off the rim. Glass, glass, glass. Got to preach it. <laughs> Saints have got to start using that glass a little more to able to get their shots to fall. And 
going into the fourth quarter. The Saints trail 29 to 40. We'll see you there. All right, coming out, uh, coming into the fourth quarter, uh, Saints still trailing by 11. It'll be Ekle Sia Ball. Madison Bailey looking to inbound it. She's been uh, the facilitator for the night for the uh, Royals, and they've been doing a great job here recently with their ball movement. Just haven't been able to get a shot as McKinney has the ball, getting it to Hannah, and there they are just passing it off. Burleson finds McKinney, thought about the three, didn't want it. Man, she's been on tonight. I would have taken that if I was her. But that's why I'm up here in the booth and not playing the game. <laughs> now Bailey again. They are just going all the way across the court. And Duffy's going to find McKinney, who is going to pull the three. No good. Rebound by Burleson. Fresh set of 20 seconds for the Royals. Get out. Madison Bailey tried to get it in. Is denied by Brady, but... Ends up finding the hands of uh, another Royals player. Missed the number, uh, but basket is good. Yeah, I'm sorry. I wasn't watching either. We're professional at our job. Don't you worry about it. <laughs> Tira Davis with the ball for the Saints. Going to get it to Brady, who's going to get it down to Van Tomey. Guarded by Bailey. It's going to be a foul on the floor. If it wasn't a foul, it would have been a travel. She planted both her feet and then did a step through. Nice move. She likes that step through, but you got to put a dribble down. Thankfully, the Saints have the foul. They're going to start in a box set here. See if they're going to get a couple screens across. Kari Hines catches the ball, has it in the corner to Davis, who's going to pull the three, banks it home. Cashing out on her check because the bank is open tonight for three. And Madison Bailey is going to bring it up for the Royals. She's just going to spin the shot clock, sit. Saints are going to let her do what she wants to do here. Gets it to Taylor Hanna. Takes the pass to Burleson. Back to Hanna. And Hanna finds, has a wide open three, and she is going to bank it home too. ATM is just spent tonight at the bank. <laughs> Us. A timeout called by the Saints. It's going to be a 30-second timeout. All right, and with that, we are coming back into this game. Saints ball on their half of the basket, or of the court, I guess. And then Moon's going to pass into Davis. Davis is going to take her turn now leading this offense. And the ball is going to go out of bounds. And it'll be Ecclesia with possession. That was Ray Brady zipping it over to Van Tomey. That is a difficult pass to make. Takes a lot of chemistry. Takes a lot of awareness of what's going on. And the Royals, McKinney stepping into a quick shot. Probably could have uh, taken some more time off the shot clock there. But Saints with the ball. Tier Davis getting it down to Van Tomey's going to do a move. Loses it. 
Van Tumman needs to be careful. Could have got called for a couple fouls there. It is Burleson down on the other end, finds McKinney. You're going to slow it down this time. Madison Bailey with possession. Bailey just <laughs> is feeling very relaxed holding the ball up top. She gets it to Duffy. Duffy been on the court but hasn't really gotten much going. She's uh, just going to dribble it right back up top. And here we go. Eight seconds left on the shot clock. The Royals are going to have to make something happen here. Finds it to Duffy who's going to drive in and reverse lay. No good. Rebound by Burleson but gets ripped by Davis. Duffy, that's her third or fourth attempt of that reverse layup that has just not fallen for her tonight. Karia Hines with the ball for the Saints. 7 8 left to go. And a double dribble call? Or yes. Yes, okay. Not great at the signs. <laughs> uh, substitution for the Saints, Rachel Darling coming back in. Uh, this time for Rhea Brady. We've not seen her since over 10 minutes ago. She came out with seven something left in the third quarter after picking up her fourth foul. And Harmony Tart is coming in. Saints have essentially their starters back out on the court uh, with the exception of Lexi Wisenhan, who has still not returned since her injury very, very early in the first quarter. Davis is going to take over for her. And Burleson bring it up for Ecclesia. Going to get it to Duffy. Duffy trying to get it to Bailey and a miscommunication. That was great defense by Davis. Davis is not letting anything go her way, sitting, guarding her man face up. And Savannah Luna gets it to uh, Tira Davis. Thought about the three. Rachel Darling now with it back to Luna. Luna to Tart. Tart to Van Tomey who's going to kick it to Davis who's going to pop the three. No good. Rebound by Taylor Hanna for Ecclesia. You can see it. Rachel thought about ripping that ball, but she realized she has four fouls already. Cannot afford to get another one. And Burleson is going to drive to the lane, and it's going to get fouled. I'm going to say that foul got called because Van Tomey was still moving her feet. She got over, but then rather than staying her ground and just letting, uh, who was that, number 21? Burleson. Burleson run through her. She backed up with her. Yep, and that's what the ref is showing with his hand signals. And Burleson misses her first. The long hair on Burleson is really just getting to me. She can't see the numbers. <laughs> also in the game for Ecclesia is Miles. She came in um, for, I don't know. we got also a couple more substitutions now for Ecclesia. Burleson coming out um, as well as Taylor Hanna. We've got number five, Hamilton, in. Uh, number 23. Number 23, Dickerson. Dickerson. Savannah Luna in control of it for the Saints. Down by 14 with 6.13 left to go. Tier Davis getting it to Van Tomey. Thought about it. Fakes in a drive. Put up a shot, and it goes in. Great, great. floater. I think I saw what you were about to say. I was going to say great move, great floater, same thing. So, yeah. And then steal it. You just... Had better words than me, so that's good. Did you see the shot? Quick draw. <laughs> Number five, Hamilton with it is going to get it to Duffy. Good help by Van Tomey there. Dickerson with it is going to float it down to Miles, who's going to pull up shot. And no good. Bounce is not good for her. And. Fans need to do a better job in this rebounding battle. More people getting... Not only a bottom on their man, but going to get the ball afterwards. I think there's some good box outs sometimes, and then they don't go get the ball, or there's people going to get the ball, and no one's boxing out. And that foul was called on Harmony Tart as the ball gets into Duffy, who's going to take a one-legged shot. And it is good. A little bit of Dirk Nowitzki on, Nowitzki on there. Uh, Savannah Luna now with the ball, gets it to Davis. Davis is going to quickly drive, kick it to Darling, Darling's going to pull up shot. No good. Gets her own rebound as Savannah Luna pulls the deep three. Misses everything, and the ball goes out of bounds. We're in an interesting spot here for the Saints. They have one of two options that they can pull here with five minutes left to go. You can either start shooting some desperation shots, and if they fall, we're in a great spot. Desperation shots typically are big shots that will lead to energy and a lot of points. But if they don't fall, then you're just going to keep digging a hole for yourself. So the Saints need to make a decision here if they're going to go for quality under-the-basket shots or some high energy but low percentage shots. 
And the foul there on Savannah Luna. Going to be her first. Uh, back in the game for the first time. Haven't seen her in a while. Is Alita Torres. Um, another foul was just given to Savannah Luna. Didn't really have keen eyes on her. I was looking at the inbound, so I didn't see what happened. Uh, but we've got Alita Torres inbounding the ball for Ecclesia is going to get it to Miles, who's in the post, going to take a fadeaway, and it falls. Shooters bounce for her. Harmony Tart with the ball for the Saints. They're going to bring it up. And she's going to get it to Rachel Darling, who's going to step into a shot. It is no good. Harmony Tart had a wide open lane there off that dribble. No one picked her up. And Duffy with the ball, almost stepping out of bounds, but she doesn't. And the ball almost intercepted by uh, Davis, but finds the hands of Miles again. Good rebound by Luna. She does get hit in the face, makes her fall, but she's going to continue to play. Van Tomey picks up that rebound. And now Luna is going to drive in for the shot. And a charging call. I don't know. Did we see who called that charge? I didn't see it, but. I know the ref on the baseline started to make that call, and then they started to scream. I think we just went with it. Well, the foul, some foul was just called on Savannah Luna. She has picked up three quick fouls uh, late in this game. Um, and I believe there is a timeout call. So we will see you after that. All right, and after some discussion by the refs, timeout by, uh, for the players, we are going to get right back into this action. The refs had a little discussion on what the foul was, making sure they were all in agreement. Now, obviously, they can't go back on the foul once it's been called, but they're just making sure they were all in agreement in unison as a good refing crew should be. So it will be Ecclesia Ball as they lead by 16 with 4-12 left to go in this game. Uh, Dickerson with it, 2 Torres. Man, she shot put that pass. She pulled it up and whew, heaved it. Now Dickerson again is going to drive, pull up mid-range, is cash. This time continues to tick away for the Saints as they are down 34-52. They're going to have to make something happen here. Tier Davis with it. Finds Tart, who maybe could have been called for a carry. He's going to Pull a contested mid-range. Man, if you are if you are in a four-on-five situation, you've got to find the open person there. And Luna was the open person on that three-point line, ready to take that shot. And Dickerson Get gets out. blocked by Van Tomey. Man, not in our paint. And Atira Davis down on the other end, going to try a quick shot. Is a little strong rebound into the hands of Duffy. Three minutes left to go in this competition as the Ecclesia Royals are just going to kind of walk it up, let as much clock expire as possible before they have to actually make a move. Now Alita Torres with it, 12 seconds on the shot clock. It's going to get it down to Hamilton, who has the wide open shot. That was just uh, a great offense. No one's there for the ball. Luna's got to throw it in. Gets it into Darling. Saints going to have three substitutions coming in at the next dead ball. Darling with it. Looking for something. Finds Van Tomey. Van Tomey making some fake moves, and she's going to drive. <sighs> Draws the foul. Glass. Glass. <laughs> I like to see her use her left hand there. Uh, very right-hand dominant. She threw it up with her left hand. Just unfortunate in and out. She's got two opportunities here. Foul is called on Dickerson. This is her fourth. A slew of substitutions. Uh, for the Saints, we got Macy Wizenand, uh, Macy Crutchfield, and 
Macaria Hines back in the game. Uh, they come in for Rachel Darling, Harmony Tart, and. And then for Ecclesia. Yeah. Savannah Luna, sorry. For Ecclesia, number 21, Burleson's going to come in. I believe number three, Taylor Hanna, is also going to come in. And then I'm not sure who the last one is. Uh, McKinney's back in the game. McKinney. Uh, she has the ball. Claire Van Tilme went one for two from the line there. Alita Torres with it for the Royals. Hands it off to Burleson, who's going to drive. Nice wide open floater is good. That was a pretty shot right there. Come off the screen, all around, right down to the paint, teardrop floater to go in. And the shot clock again was uh, not reset there. Again, we got a new guy up there. He's all good. <laughs> new to the school. New to the game. He's a soccer guy. Uh, Saints in possession of the ball. Makari Hines with it. Saints playing some very slow offense. Looks like we are just going to... A tier Davis going to drive and get a try and scoop layup. No good. Rebound by Ecclesia. McKinney with the ball. Just going to get it to Burleson. Zipping it across to Torres. And Torres is going to have a semi-wide open lane. He's going to kick it to Miles, who's traveled. Yep, called for the travel. She also got fouled there on the shot. So, But she did travel before. And that was a nice pass, though, to Miles. And some more substitution for the Saints. Vanna Luna coming in for Atira Davis. And Rhea Brady coming in for Van Tomey. Royals leaving no stone unturned. Going to continue to apply pressure here at the end of this game. And Savannah Luna using her speed is going to throw up a shot. No good. Rebound by Madison Bailey who just subbed into the game for the Royals. And going to give it to her. She's just standing with it at Logo playing with her hair. <laughs> if there is one thing that Bailey has been this game, it has been patient. Waiting up top, just using up clock, knowing the situation, time, and score for her team. Bailey has it. Seven seconds left on the shot clock. Ball finds the hands of uh, Macy Crutchfield. Gets it to Macy Wisenand, who's going to drive and draw oh, the foul. Boy. And one for Macy Wisenand with one minute left to go in this game. That foul was on number 10, McKinney. This is her second of the game. We now have Wisenhan's chance to complete this three-point play. And she does not, but the ball is going to be rebounded by Rhea Brady. Woo! Saves it. Zip behind the back Woo! pass. Finds uh, Macy Crutchfield, who had a wide-open shot. A bit of nifty, nifty tricks there by the Saints as Dickerson has the ball for Royals now in the hands of McKinney. You can see the guys team on the other end all copying exactly what Brady just, Brady just did. And Dickerson's going to pull up the mid-range shot. No good. Rebound. Macy Wisnan trying. That's going to be an over-the-back call as Miles was all over top of Wisnan there getting that rebound. Or it was Luna. I can't remember who was underneath. Um, that is the fifth foul. Oh, no, sorry. The Saints have five fouls. Um, but Saints will inbound the ball. Ref waiting for Taylor Hanna to tie her shoe. Luna's going to inbound it. Finds Macy Wisenand, who is off to the race, is running. 35 seconds. The Saints have to get a shot up She's here. She's going to get it to Brady, who is going to go in on ja Miles. Who? Give me that. Ray of Brady, tough finish. 27 seconds left to go, though. A uh, little unnecessary of a foul there for the Saints with – 24 seconds left on the clock. The shot clock was off, uh, but we're going to go ahead and shoot two more free throws here tonight to close out this game. And to the line is Dickerson for Ecclesia. Ooh, nothing but air. <laughs> See, her 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 team is uh, laughing. Coach is clapping for her. Uh, um, she's smiling too. So it's all fun time. Yeah, it's no nothing 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 bad going on there. Uh, they told her. I heard somebody say, "Take your time." So, and if she I does. A, and man, hits the second. She did hit the second. If I'm a free throw shooter, I absolutely despise the Royals. Are wasting no time here. They are going to continue to apply pressure defense up 
16 on the Saints. They're going to play till the very end. But back to what I was saying, if I am a free throw shooter, I despise when people talk to me about what I'm supposed to do because it is all muscle memory. <laughs> McCarney Hines with it for the Saints is going to get the ball stolen. Um, and Dickerson with it, and her bench was screaming at her to hold it, but she pulls the mid-range and, uh, and up <laughs> and in. Look to foul again, too. As Macy Crutchfield takes a last-second shot, uh, but no good. And the Saints will fall to the Ecclesia Royals, 41-59. to Saints one time had led by eight, but then they had a uh, ten, at least ten-minute scoring drought that uh, sank their, sank their uh, shots, chances of this game. So, hate to see that. Uh, going to the next game on uh, Saturday, uh, we're still at home. Uh, the Saints will look to bounce back from that. Yes. And this game's gonna, they're yeah. gonna end a little bit of a prayer for those of you that want come back uh, pretty much in the next 20 minutes we're going to be streaming the guys game this is their second shot at Hannibal LaGrange lost in a very close game last time at Hannibal Saints had a couple opportunities to win the game unfortunately did not work out so this is their chance to get it back on home court um, so we will hopefully see you during the next game